What is happening, guys? My name is Mike. Welcome back to, I think, my third live unboxing here on the channel. I'm going to wait a minute before we get started to see if anybody's going to come up. I uh, don't expect a whole lot of turnout for this one because it is kind of in the middle of the day, but based on my crazy schedule, this was when I had time to do it. So we're going to be talking about the Monthly Style Club. I have done two other videos, I think, maybe three, maybe I might have been three, um, on the Monthly Style Club in the past. So check out those videos if you want to see uh, the previous unboxings that I've done for them. But this is the September box, and we have been doing live unboxings here on the channel with a couple other subscription services. They've been a lot of fun, so I thought that I would jump on with this one and try it out. While I'm waiting for people to hop in, if anybody's going to join, hey, uh, Ruben, good. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, before we get started, everyone always asks what's in my hair today. What I what I used today was the O'Dowd's Matte Paste in Pre-Style and then some Chrome by Morris, Morris Motley in Post. So I used uh, Post Styler for that and uh, came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So... Monthly Style Club, they contacted me months ago. I don't get paid by them. They are just like most of the other, or all of the other subscription services that I unbox. They just send me a box and ask me to give them uh, my opinion. I'm going to say something like, hey, what's up, man? How are you? And they are actually, um, it, they, they have two brands technically under the same company. The guy started Monthly Knife Club, and it was a subscription service for knives. I just realized my laptop is like right in your guys' way. Let me move that. So uh, he started Monthly Knife Club and it was a subscription service that sent you guys um, knives. And I haven't gotten one of those. I don't subscribe to that. But obviously I do my research on different brands when I uh, get requests to review. So he started Monthly Knife Club and then I believe he just had the idea to take the same idea and put some um, style items in the box and send it out in the same subscription. So that's when he started it up with me. And um, how does the subscription box compare to Arcadian Clay? Yeah, well, do it. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Manish Bacha, how are you? Hey, what's up, man? How are you? I'm good. I uh, got a little bit of a cold today. I'm battling, battling a cold. Got my Mountain Dew here. Every video, I've got to have the Mountain Dew. It's my favorite. And But I am battling a little bit of a cold. A little bit stocked up. The weather changed so quickly here in Nebraska. It was like 98 one day, and then the very next day, it was down to like 60. So my allergies just went nuts. Um, yeah. So everybody that's joining, welcome. We only got a couple people on so far. I, I probably expected that because it was in the middle of the day. You guys see the clay catalog yesterday? Anybody anybody check that out yet? That took me like a month to do. Couldn't believe it. I you can still see my my chart up here of all the clays. I was you know keeping track of what I had to do because there were so many different clips for each one. It was it was nuts. I don't know if I'll ever do 12 clays at one time again. Uh, have you tried Palm, Palm King Limited? No, I haven't. But, you know, Palm King is, um, Palm King is awesome. Sorry, itchy eyes, allergies. Ugh. Uh, Palm King is awesome. Everything they make is always, you know, gen generally good. So, and uh, thanks for the, thanks for the kind words on the catalog. Yeah, it took me forever to do. But anyway, back to Monthly Style Club. So we talked about how they started off with Monthly Knife club and then they just got the idea to kind of start off the same kind of subscription but with some style items so they've sent me like uh, in the past video socks ties tie bars things like that but then recently i think the guy that runs it got the idea to merge the two ideas i'm pretty sure that's what he started doing was merging the two ideas like monthly knife club and monthly style club so he'll send style items plus items that you might get in monthly knife club. And I think that because in the last box, if you watched that video in the last unboxing I did for them, I got a pocket knife in that one and it was really cool. So I, and I'm, so I think he told me this month, this month's box was going to be similar. I have already taken a peek at one of the items and I, and if you were on my last live video, we talked about it, it was brass knuckles or, you know, a type of brass knuckles. So that was cool. So we got our box here. 
we're going to open it up. We got a bunch of items in here to look at, and then uh, we're going to uh, go over some the price list. Now, before we look into the items, remember this subscription service runs thirty four ninety nine. I always got to look at my. Why am I doing that backwards? Yeah, right there. Got to look at my chart. Thirty four ninety nine is the plan I believe that they sent me the renowned plan. Um, how many items? That three to four. Yeah. So thirty four ninety nine is mentally what I when I do the unboxing. Mentally, I'm looking at these items, looking at the plan price. Is the items worth the plan price? That's what I'm doing. And I don't get paid for this. They don't pay me. But it is my responsibility to portray that to you guys because you guys may purchase it. So we need to know if our money is being well spent. And so if it's not, I'm going to say it because I have no monetary gain from telling you guys not to buy it. And I don't have any monetary gain if you do. So there's no reason for me to make stuff up. So let's take a look at the first item out of this box. Now, unboxing video uh, two weeks ago or so. This guy right here. This is the this is the only item I've already looked at because I I opened the box and it just stood out at me like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna come and beat you. So this is a money clip. So you can see you got the little clip here. It clips your money. It's a little tight, so I don't know if it would be you know really functional as a money clip. Probably not. But honestly, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> This is like somebody just stole your last tin of Morse Motley and you're going to get them. Ugh, I'm going to come after you and steal my stuff. You just broke my blow dryer and messed up my hair. Yeah, so this, it's pretty comfortable to wear. I honestly don't even know if this is legal in my state, though. I think I read somewhere that brass nickels is uh, illegal in Nebraska, but I don't know. But, you know, it'll be our little secret if it is. I'm obviously not going to carry this around. I'm not looking to, you know, fight anybody. But still, pretty cool, I guess. Not something that I was expecting to get, but there we go. That's pretty cool. Uh, next, we got some headphones. So I'm calling the Coast Guard. <laughs> yeah, calling the Coast Guard. Send them over. Uh, got some earbuds. So pretty cool. I mean... Who, uh, great job with the clay bed. Hey, thanks, Jorge. Hope I'm saying, is it George or Jorge? It, hopefully I'm not saying that wrong. Thanks either way. Um, so they're sweat proof. So the, I mean, these are probably what you classify as cheap headphones, but I mean, that's not a big deal. You can gift them, you can re-gift them, you can use them. I'm, my son is always taking my stuff. I'm always losing my earbuds. I don't think you could ever have kind of a, uh, um, a shortage of earbuds. Yo, Mike. So, hey, what's up, man? How are you? So we got those. Oh, got an empty box. I think it might have fallen out. Okay, here we go. Next up. Yep, it's a kni another knife here. This one is a knife keychain. Pretty cool. It looks like, you know, Swiss Army knife type, type thing. You got some multiple, multiple attachments here or multiple... Thing. Got some scissors, pretty standard Swiss Army knife type thing. Um, brand on it is Balade, probably a mix on the word blade. Multifunction knife, so cool, cool keychain. Okay, moving on here. Oh, this is the last. Okay, so this is the last item, and this is the style that I was looking for. I was like, okay, we got a lot of uh, stuff that I would expect. Well, I guess the headphones would fall into this style category too. Um, okay, let's take a look at these. Genuine bamboo comfort socks. Oh, this might be actually pretty cool. They're not dress socks, which is different. I've always got dress socks from this box, by the way. It's always been different colored dress socks. These, I guess they could be considered dress socks, but I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I mean, that doesn't scream out dress socks to me. They look more like casual socks, even though they're not ankle, which is what I usually wear. Um, bamboo. Never heard of this brand, but let me tell you, these socks are soft. It says comfort socks. Let me see if the package has anything. Uh, nothing on the package, but man, these things are soft. I'm going to have to do some research on this brand because it's got a nice little uh, elastic part right here that probably keeps it on your foot from falling down, so that's cool. And it's got this really nice soft fabric, so okay. 
let's take a look. So we have a total of four items. The earbuds, the self-defense money clip, the socks, and the keychain. So what I like about this too is they send this with every box they send me. And I've looked it up. Uh, the prices are pretty accurate because I always look it up too, you know, for my own peace of mind. But I like how they have the MSRP and then the internet price too because MSRP can be whatever they want. But it, it, it really just depends on what people are paying for the item. That's, that's true. So the earbuds, I kind of had a thought when I first saw these earbuds, you know, they, they look pretty cheap. They're something you could get at, you know, a Walmart or a drugstore, fairly cheap. MSRP on these guys is $14.99. I don't see them costing that much. Internet price on them is $9.95. That's kind of where I think they're at, $9.95. So the box that they sent is the Renown Plan, $34.99. So now we need to come up with, so we have to, let's call it 10 bucks. I don't want to call it $14.99. Let's call it 10 bucks. So we need to come up with $24.99. Hey, my, hey, what's up, man? How are you? And so we need to come up with um, $24.99 worth of other items here. So the next step, let's look at this self-defense money clip. MSRP on it, $21.99. I don't, I don't know what these, I've never, you know, looked these up before. I mean, it is a nice solid metal, so I don't think it would be super cheap, but I don't think it'd be super expensive either. So uh, they have it listed on here as $11.99 internet price. And I think that's probably accurate because you could probably get one of these off eBay for right around that. So um, $11.99, we're good there. The socks. I do think that these, um, they got these on here at $15.99 for one pair. I mean, I go, I'm, I'm all about going to the stores like TJ Maxx or a place like that where you can buy a bunch, like a big pack of socks for like nine, 10 bucks. So that's kind of where, that's where my head's at. So paying $15, $15.99 for one pair of socks, I wouldn't, that, that's just me. I wouldn't do that. The internet price is $12. That's a little bit better, but still it's a little high for one pair of socks for me. So that makes the subscription service, that's kind of a solid for the subscription service, the fact that you can, you can get a pair of socks that you probably wouldn't normally buy on its own as a part of the subscription per subscription package more like metal knuckles yeah i know this thing is like ugh, coming at you this thing's scary i mean if somebody were to try to rob me and i i don't know if they came at me with this i just hand over my car my wallet i don't want to get hit by this i mean did you guys i don't know if you guys caught this but this comes to a point this could seriously do some damage like i, I really want to go buy a grapefruit or something and or a coconut and just see you know you could break a window with that probably that's crazy socks uh 12 12 there and then that just leaves this keychain now obviously this is cheap this is this is you know small time you can get this anywhere ebay drugstores gas station you can buy stuff like that um yeah that's what i was just thinking too it might hurt your hand to actually use that too because it does sit you know it does sit you know on the on the fingers like that so you put some impact it's gonna could break your own fingers using that. I don't know. Um, the keychain here has an internet price of $9.99. I'd expect it to actually be a little bit cheaper than $9.99, but um, you know, that's what I found too when I looked it up is this brand generally is up there for $9.99. So altogether we have an MSRP of $67.96, but the internet value or the the value that people are actually paying is $43.93. So you you're Basically, you started at $34.99, you pay that, you got about $43, just under $44 worth of stuff. So you're you're in there, you're in there a good almost 10 bucks. So that's not bad. That's 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 really that's really not bad. And they sent a variety of things. So if I was a subscriber, I don't think I'd be disappointed with this box, especially, you know, with this guy here. This is an interesting item. You could just put this on your desk and have it have it just be like a conversation starter either that or somebody would complain and, and get frightened of you. So whichever way you roll. So that's it for the September box. I've had it for a couple of weeks now. It's taken me forever with this clay catalog and all this other stuff to get to some of these things. I am um, hoping to keep going with them as long as they, they, uh, they want. Actually, this slip says it was August. So hopefully I haven't had this that long. I honestly don't remember. That's how busy I get. I just forget some things. So, um, yeah.
that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, I'm willing to hang out for another minute or two. I am uh, working on some things today. I'm trying to get another video out by Friday. Another video out by Friday. And uh, actually, I might as well talk about it here. I'm going to be giving away this um, jar of ocean clay in my next video. This was uh, given to me by the folks over at Shavu. So they're, they sent it to me, said I could give it away. Asked me if I wanted to. Sure, I'm always down for uh, giving away some stuff. So I uh, found a video that works perfectly with it. It wasn't planned. It just kind of worked out that way. Survey, yeah, JK. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I've already had a bunch of people ask me if they could have it. So we're going we're gonna to do the giveaway. May send it out to somebody who wants it. Um, it just so happens that I filmed a haircut video, a fresh haircut video, one that I wanted to do about my gray. See, I'm going going gray like around here and around here. I've been uh, I've actually been going gray since I was 21, so I just kind of deal with it. But people have asked me what I do with my grays, and they also ask why I don't ever let my sides grow out. I uh, always trim my sides. Every other Monday, I go and get my sides trimmed. Uh, people have always asked, why don't you let your hair grow out? Why don't you try the whole uh, long, slick, long, slick look? Well, I'm going to talk about it in my hair. In, or in my hair. I'm going to talk about it in my hair. I have gray hair and I'm 16. Yeah, dude, you know the struggle. It, the struggle's real. I get it I get it blended and colored, you know, every other month or so because I'm not fully ready to embrace it yet. Not ready. I have noticed that it's starting to get a lot worse around here, though. That sucks. I just turned 28 on Saturday. And I'm already, I'm not ready. I'm just not ready. It sucks. But luckily there's uh, talented stylists out there that can help us with this problem. Are those Warby Parker specs? No, they are from iBuyDirect. If you go to my video list, I did a video for them. And uh, this, these glasses came with the video. They just, you know, said if we send you, if we let you choose some specs, would you uh, uh, do a video for us? Have you, Ivor, Ivor Brew, he's made a few, yeah, um, yeah, I've, I've talked with Ivor, um, I don't know how to say his name, Ivor, Ivor, um, he's a cool guy, he's really cool, I've talked to him a little bit on EP, on Facebook, and um, maybe one day, you know, maybe I'll reach out to him, I'm sure he'd be down to work together, he's a, he's a cool guy, I think it's definitely cool that he made up his own pomade, um, he seems to be pretty knowledgeable, so I'd be totally down to check out what he's been cooking up. Um, back to the glasses, Ivor, Ivor is the pronunciation, Ivor, oh, well, cool, I will make sure that I talk, I'm, I'm really bad with pronunciation names, pronouncing names, you can see I just pronunciated that wrong, um, what was I talking, glasses, if you check out the video list, I buy direct is where I got the glasses, there's a link in the description for these specific frames, and then there's a discount too. These are actually pretty cheap. I don't wear super expensive glasses because my son's always pulling them off my face. So I talk all about the glasses, we'll give you a discount, get you a link, go pick yourself up some. These are very durable actually for only, you know, they're, they're like a hun under a hundred bucks. It's pretty, it's pretty cheap as far as glasses go. So Ivor, Ivor Brew is bomb. Good thing he's only a few cities away from me. Oh, that's cool. So he's local. Yeah, definitely take advantage of that then if he's local. That's cool. I, uh, I'll uh, hit him up to see what we can put together for you guys. I got a whole list of videos still trying to come out. I'm back. I'm backlogged weeks and weeks and weeks. So, okay. Got through all the stuff we wanted to get through. Answered a couple questions. I appreciate you guys coming out. I know this probably wasn't super convenient for everybody, but I appreciate it. Nevertheless, Make sure you guys check out the Monthly Style Club if you want to look, look at more information. Check out the previous videos if you want to see some more examples of items. And um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. If you guys like these live unboxings, let me know in the comment section after, um, after this video ends. And I'll see about doing more. And we can continue chatting. I do want to do just a, a chill live session. I'm hanging out with Brandon Rodriguez, aka the Workman's Pop, next month in Washington or in Oregon, technically. Um, I'm gonna hang out with him next month. And I think what I'll do is I'll just set up the set up the phone here and we can just do a chill, a chill live session where you guys can just we can just hang out maybe for like 45 minutes or an hour and we can just uh, 
you can just shoot it and then hang out to have some fun. So that's pretty much all I got. I'm going to, I'm going to finish this up now before things get weird. And uh, thanks again for everybody who stopped out. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys here on the channel in just a couple of days. I'm working hard to get another video out very soon. Y'all take it easy. I'll see you guys here on the channel next time. Have a good one.